When using the 2020 digital planners, you may need to do some extra actions with the pages, like copy a page or duplicate a page, move pages around or delete the pages. Before I show you how to do that, please make sure that you don't delete too many pages. And that's because most of the pages are connected with particular links or particular icons on other pages like for example this icon here is connected with the meeting notes for uh, wednesday september 17. whenever you delete that page this icon here will no longer have a hyperlink so be, be careful about that however one question i get frequently whenever wa someone wants to copy pages around inside the planner is are the hyperlinks going to work? Yes, the hyperlinks will still work whenever you copy pages around. And let's see exactly how. Let's go to a meeting page and duplicate the page. So this is the meeting page number one, the original. Let's go to pages, edit, tap the page, Tap plus and duplicate one page. Done. Let's go to the second page, which is actually the copy. Second page, second meeting note for the day. You see, I have the same day. And let's check the hyperlinks. Are they going to get us to the same week? Yes, you see, it's the same week. And if I click um, this icon again, I will be directed to the first meeting note of the day. There you go. The first meeting note, the second meeting note. The links are working. Now, if you want to move this page around, just tap the page, hold it, and move it around. Yeah, I just moved this like that. Done. Let's go there. And here you go. You have moved the page. And the links are still working. Whenever you need to copy a page to a completely different location inside the planner, then dragging and dropping the duplicate page wouldn't work. There is an extra step you need to take, and that's really simple in Noteshelf too. You will have to export that page as a template and import it as a template in the new location. It's super easy. You will need this, especially when you're going to use the templates I have built in inside this digital planner. You will find the templates inside this section, template section, and all of these are extra templates. Let's say you need notes page for more information uh, throughout the day. Let's export this page as a template by tapping this icon, current page, choose format note shelf 2, file name, whatever the name you want, um, I would advise you to put a particular name for your planner so you know where you took the template from. I usually say notes and then navigator. That's how I call my planner. There you go. And then share now. Then scroll here and save as template. And you're done. First step. Now let's navigate to a new location. Let's say November after day 16. This is the daily page and I want more notes for this page. There is a button here, plus button, plus icon. Tap the icon and tap new page from template and then scroll on the left side and tap custom 
and it should be here. Look, notes navigator. I've exported a few more notes. And there you have it. Make sure you don't have any graphics uh, on your page before you export it because those graphics will remain in uh, the exported template. But then there you have it. You have the daily page and the extra page after. What happens with the hyperlinks? The hyperlinks will still work. From this page, let's go to June. And there you go. The hyperlinks are still working. Lastly, to delete a page in Note Shelf 2, all you have to do is go to Pages, hit Edit, tap the page, and tap the uh, bin icon. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to my channel and leave your comment in the comment section below. If you're looking for a digital planner for your iPad, go to my Etsy store, thefeathersink.etsy.com.